Hey everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Royal Thrill Gaming. RPG Fairy here. Um, in the flesh, one last time. The blow is out 2020. On, um, today I do want to discuss with you a few little things. Um, kind of give you a little update of what's been going on. Um, just like the last few live videos I've done. Um, so first I want to give you an update on the Amazon Luna uh, program. Um, I know when I came to you last I was raving about the Amazon Luna program while I finish out my seven day window of the trial period. Um, the video um, program itself, um, at first it was great, was working wonderful. Uh, I actually played it tw uh, three times on the program. I did twice on the control, once on um, one other video, um, Sexy Brutal. I tried out on it as well. Um, and at first, it, uh, the first two times did great. Third time, I actually hit a lag wall. Um, so what I would say about the Luna, um, if you're looking for a cheap alternative to Microsoft Game Pass. It may be a good option for you if you have a stable internet connection. Like I said, um, the first couple times it worked great. This last time it was really slow, so it wasn't all that great. Um, so I actually ended up having to stop the game because it just wasn't playing. Um, I do plan to get the game. Um, it has been added to my list. Of games that I do plan to get um, just some just so you know what some, some of the games I'm looking at um, I'm hoping to get um, control of course um, I am really looking forward to medium um, if you have not seen medium it's a new game coming out looks amazing um, and it's by the same people who have done the layers of fear games which um, even though I'm not a fear fear game player or horror game player I really enjoy their games so um so that I'm looking forward to uh, in playing that one um I'm also planning to get the uh, Mass Effect Legacy program um mainly not because I don't have the original games um one I want to see if they fix some of the problems with the accessibility that I've ran into in those games there's three times in the Mass Effect genre um that I could not finish. I actually had to get my, my friend to come over and get me past certain parts. Um, and I have never played any of the DLCs. So that I thought about buying it when they went on sale this time, but I thought, you know what? It might be better if I save up and just buy the legacy because the, the DLCs are supposed to be part of that. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm saving up, of course, for the... Um, new Dragon Age game, and uh, which won't be next year, it'll be the year after at the earliest. Um, and I'm also looking at possibly getting Valhalla sometime next year. Um, I know it'll be old by then, but um, I have Origins and I have um, uh, the Odyssey on the Assassin's Creed, so. Um, I have great hopes for the, um, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, also, um, I want to get The Last of Us Part 2. Um, that being said, um, oh, before I get into that, I do want to also go back to the Microsoft. Now, Microsoft Game Pass, as I said, I was very disappointed about the price that they're charging, um, but the games are stable. Um, and, uh, even though I can't afford the out-of-pocket costs, I did find a cheaper way to go about it. Um, if you're familiar with the, um, uh, the Bing program, uh, Bing Rewards is Microsoft. Um, if you're not familiar, Microsoft, um, has a rewards program that goes along with their search engine. And you can get points for just searching everyday items. If you search so many times a day, you get so many things. And I just go there for my news normally. Um, and I get points. So, but um, they now have the Game Pass. Uh, the one month and three month um, via the points. So I'm going to try to go that route. 
um, to see if, you know, I can keep my Microsoft program going on a little longer, especially since they have released some games that I, I do want to play now. Um, I really wish they would come out a little more steadily on games I want, um, but um, for now, it's a good idea. Um, I do want to also bring up the Game Awards. Um, this is one of the few years I actually paid attention to the, the Game Awards, and I do want to first congratulate No Man's Sky for getting the best ongoing game. They really deserved it. They took a game that was really bad out of box and made it an amazing game. I also want to congratulate The Last of Us Part Two. I know they sweeped a lot of the categories, um, but I really want to focus and thank them for, um, and um, recognize them for their innovation and accessibility. Um, first off, I want to thank the Game Awards for even including that. Um, it's nice to know there is the the gaming communities are recognizing us disabled gamers um we are a, a we might be a minority gaming group but there's a large amount of us who are gamers so it is great to see this movement um to include us in the games um i may not have agreed with all the nominees um but I do, I do feel it's a great um, category, and I'm happy to see that they have finally included us. And I want to congratulate The Last of Us Part Two for actually um, winning that category because I have heard amazing things for that game. That is a game that really has showed that we can be included. And that maybe they will set a standard for what games should be nowadays. So congratulations to them and congratulations to all the games that won this year. Before I go, I do want to wish you all happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate. And I hope you hope you stay safe. And take care of your loved ones. Next time, stay safe and have fun. See you.